Hello, and welcome back to another video. We're uh, going to be installing speakers today. The redneck style. Alright, so these are the speakers that were in my car. And I don't know if you guys know this, you probably do if you watch my radio video, that there is an aftermarket stereo in this car. And if you have an aftermarket stereo, you're going to eventually need to get aftermarket speakers because these are going to blow. So I have them here. They are kickers, but they're the wrong size. See? They're the wrong size speakers, but we're going to put them in there and they're going to work. And I'm going to show you how we're going to make these work here in a minute. So, I was looking online yesterday, and I saw these wonderful things. And I don't know if you know what this is, but it is a adapter harness for the O2 Ford Explorer. It's specific to the year model. Basically what this does is it plugs into this right here, and then these hook onto the speaker. And I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a minute. So that's just going to make life easier so I don't have to cut these and cramp them. But I went down there and they only have one pack of these. And they come in a pack of two. So I've only got enough of the front speakers. So uh, we're going to put the kickers in the front. And I've got two Pioneers that we're going to put in the back. Okay. So these things that are on here now. Right here. I'm going to try to get you a nice shot there. Right here. These come on the speaker. This right here you would usually uh, wire nut or solder into the well, into the uh, wire. You would just clip the wire and then solder them together. Well, we're cutting out the metal man. Okay, and instead of doing that, you can pull these off. <clears throat> there we go. Pull them off like that. Now it's nice and clean. And then this right here will just slide right over it. Okay, and that clicked in. And there we go. And that's clicked in too. So now, all we have to do is wire this thing in. Now you probably already saw that the door panel was off of my car. So, we're going to uninstall these. And like I said, it just plugs right in. And I ain't going anywhere. That's pretty solid right there. So, now that's set up like that. And that's how I'm going to do the rest of these. Okay, so I am going to be putting the actual correct size speakers in here eventually. This is just for right now so that I can get by until I get the actual size speakers. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting it about here. But give me a good length of wire because I'm going to solder this back together later on. So, cut it here. Alright. So, take your knife, and there we go, and that should give you a good bit to work with. So, keep this plug if you want to do what we did on the front. Keep these plugs right here because you can solder this back together with a uh, thing that I'm going to be making in a later video. I'm just waiting on... Uh, some parts come in for that but I'll show you that in a later video of what I'm gonna make an easy thing that you can clamp to the door 
and it'll hold these wires together while you solder them. It'll be hopefully very convenient. Alright, so take your wire strippers. Strip them back. They're just a very small, about 20 gauge wire, so very small stuff. Okay, now, now that both of them are stripped back, we can wire it in. I think that might be covering y'all up. Let me go ahead and go get some wire nuts. Okay, so the way you gotta do this is go ahead and set it in here somehow. Get your get little blue wire nuts if you uh, if you're installing your radio at the same time. Again, I'll have to pick some of these up anyway. Because you're gonna need them to wire up the radio harness. Um, I'm pretty sure some orange wire nuts should work too. Uh, I don't think it has to be blue. I think orange ones do work too. Um, but uh, I just prefer the blue ones. They uh, seem to work a good bit better being smaller gauge, being made for smaller gauge wire. All right, now before we bolt this thing in, we are going to go ahead and make sure we wired it up right and make sure it works. And I can't, and I, and I am getting sound out of this. So we did do it correctly. We're going to go around and I'm going to let you hear how this thing sounds. So the thing sounds great, but I feel like there's more potential there. And I do have two more speakers in boxes that we can put in here. So I think that's what we're about to do. Okay guys, so we got that speaker box right there out of the truck. Um, it is in very bad condition. So before we run them behind the seats and run speaker wire, I have a sample piece here that we're going to hook into this door panel and hook to there to see if it'll work. Alright guys, I got the thing hooked up. I'm going to go turn the car on and we're going to see if this works. The speakers actually do work that we pulled out of that S10. I am super surprised considering how much has happened to them. And I'm not 100% sure how long they are going to last. But, they do work. Okay, so we saw yesterday that the little ones that we put in the doors will fit in this. And the Jensen's that were in there originally did work. But, they didn't sound that great. I had them hooked up and I had them working, but to me they did not sound that good because they're really old and 
they were subwoofers with a lot of tweeters. The tweeters didn't work. I just like to put bigger speakers in there. Okay, I have these. They, they are 6x9s, uh, and they're too big for the doors because the door takes 6x8s. I'm thinking we, you know, set these in here, cut out this box so that they'll fit, and then I uh, just set them right in there. And then we'll install these like that. So uh, that's the current plan. Uh, I have this little bracket that came with them, and I'm thinking we tape this to it, and then we uh, just mark out our hole. So I got a silver sharpie to mark on the black. Hopefully this shows up pretty good. It's far from perfect, but I think it'll do for... I think it'll do for what we need. Okay, so now that I've marked the hole, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out with a jigsaw. Okay, so now the speaker fits in nice and flush, and uh, we can run four screws in it. But uh, actually, it's not totally flush right now. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out a little more to uh, make it fit just a little bit better. Okay, guys, so we already installed one speaker box, and it sounds fantastic. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to be bugging it out of this one. So there's going to be a speaker in here and we're going to have a wire that goes down through here all the way to the back. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing now. And uh, the seatbelt's going to have to come out and all this trim and stuff has got to come out. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've ran this speaker wire through this boot. This boot right here. It goes in here and through here, and basically we're going to run it down through here and uh, out and behind to the uh, where the speaker box is going to sit. Back there. Back behind there. So. Okay. So I've stripped back the wires. We're going to go ahead and tap these on with the, uh, yes. Okay, so this sound system sounds really good, but it could use a little more bass. So I'm thinking of adding a sub and amp to it. If you guys want to see that, be sure to let me know. But uh, if you if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like on it. And uh, if you enjoy all the content on my channel, be sure to subscribe. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.